Hey everyone, my name is Wedge and welcome back to another Altered Art Spotlight brought to you in part by Manalik.com and the official MTG Altered Art Facebook group. I'm getting really used to saying that. Links in the description. Go check them out. The Facebook page has tons of amazing altars and artists to look at. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at an altar depicting one of my favorite Disney characters of all time, some stained glass goodness, homage to a classic painting, and more. Hope you enjoy, and if you do remember to hit that like button, shows your support for the series. Let's do this. We'll begin the day with Jacqueline's alterations. Her first piece is this invisible stalker full art altar to resemble the famous expressionist work of the Scream. I think it looks beautiful. The sky is the right shade of orange. The swirls throughout, while not being as seemingly chaotic as the original, are more than enough to really get the point across. A piece like this isn't easy. Just look at the choices she made on the boardwalk and the surface of the water. Masterful stuff. Recreating classics is always difficult. Recreating this one in particular, pretty much impossible. Kudos. Jacqueline's second piece brings me back to my childhood. Jack and Oogie Boogie from The Nightmare Before Christmas look amazing. She really captured the cartoon feel of the characters and nailed their facial expressions to a T. I'm okay with the purple background as it helps to bring out the characters more. The various shades of green on the Boogeyman's body to the shape and size of both their eyes really nailed it with this one. I'd love a whole set of Nightmare Before Christmas altars like this. Seriously, that would be cool. Next up is Lackey Mini Painting. We'll start with this damnation altar to depict the Lich King from Adventure Time. Um, yes please. The snow looks amazing, the shadow of the king himself is a nice touch, and the little ghoul mushroom cloud is perfectly done. Brings a lot of color to an otherwise dark altar, really draws attention to the card. In addition to the clouds and little buildings in the background, this altar does a great job paying respects to the show. I'm sure many an Adventure Time fan would want this. Great work. Lackey Mini's second altar is an extension of a Birds of Paradise, new art version. What caught my eye immediately wasn't the gorgeous extension of the bird's tail, it was the fantastic extension of the buildings in the background and the sky. Amazing contrast in color, Lackey really hit a home run here. On the bird itself, obviously the tail is fantastic and will be the first thing most people notice, as they should because it's beautiful. I like how it splits at the end into different tail feathers. I love the shades of red in the sky. I love the building extensions. I just can't get over how much I love this altar in general. I've seen a lot of Birds of Paradise altars, and this one is definitely one of the best. Our last artist of the day is MSJ Altars. We'll begin with the Selesnia Signet. I know, I almost pooped myself when I first saw it. To say the background is extended well is a gross understatement. This is near flawless. Those rocks are beautiful. The Selesnia symbol on the text box is beautifully filled in, and the vines don't even get me started. The leaves look great, the color of the vines are perfect, you wouldn't even know this was an altar. A card that never really stood out to me before looks crazy awesome now. That's what altering can do to a card, give it some life. That's what happened here. Wow, this is pretty. MSJ's second altar is an Ice Age Swords to Plowshares. For the record, best art swords has ever gotten. Anyways, this altar is unique. While stained glass is relatively common nowadays, just applying it to the background of the piece is more uncommon than you'd think. The color choices are what impressed me the most. The bright orange and pink near the head really focus my attention. The yellow that radiates outward gives it an almost holy feel, if that makes sense. Of course, I haven't even mentioned how meticulously done this was. Look at the small triangles on the halo, the accentuation of the bird's feathers, the black borders around them, addition to some clouds. When you look close, this is much more involved than at first glance, at least for me. Very cool and definitely one of my favorite stained glass pieces to date. That's all we have for this week. Let me know in the comments which pieces were your favorites and what type of altars you would like to see in the future. Maybe I can accommodate you. At worst, I'll do my best. Also, again, like the altar our Facebook page. Seriously, it has all these altars, plus way more. You'll love it. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Manosaurus. I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.